All right, people, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another reaction to another Sunny V2 video. And this is who, oh, this is too positive for me. Who has the best reputation in YouTube history? Uh, it's too positive. I don't like this. Can we cut this? Cut this part. <laughs> cut, cut this part. I don't want to see this. Uh, too, again, too positive. I don't know about this. Uh, I don't know who the guy on the right is. I know V... Vsauce right in the middle and then of course that's uh, moist critical i want to is it the guy on the right doesn't he do a podcast he looks familiar he looks like a guy that does a podcast i think he was on joe rogan i don't know i don't know these things i don't care i've been on youtube for longer than most people that are on youtube right now have been alive and i still don't care or no so i mean i know i know potentially all three of these people but there's probably gonna be people I, that i don't know um hopefully if they have good reputations then i do know them gonna be nice to just actually give a shit about people that actually deserve to you know be given a shit about uh anyway let's get to it. link in the description go watch yourself first of course three two one play these creators have the 10 most flawless reputations in youtube okay. history can i tell who anybody is professional eater matt stoney which no. six never mind no i thought that was the guy i was talking about before no i don't know who matt stoney is 3.5 billion views Oof. in over 13 years on the platform wow. matt stoney has had plenty of chance 15 years from me and you're way more popular this is to land himself in controversy although despite scouring every corner of the internet it seems this man has never what? even been criticized uh -oh. his clean image has resulted in collaborations with everybody from the try guys to gq as well as someone who deserves an honorable mention for this video be it meets food with both of these i don't know who this guy is i really don't that living a the name doesn't even sound familiar outside of youtube can do wonders for your online reputation cool. you might make the argument awesome. that competitive eating is uh, simply an uncontroversial genre however i'd urge you to think of a different <laughs> youtuber who instantly proves this theory wrong yeah. nick Ocado makes matt stoney look flawless by every comparison uh, yet neither stop showing me i don't even want to see these guys look as perfect oh of course of course report of the week oh yeah report of the Woo! week the reinforcement the best. food and good reputations <laughs> almost always go hand in hand the report of the uh, week's reputation by is this point it is measurable and very easy room. to feel he's simply a youtube legend oh i did i did say he's a simple I was like, what? over 12 years of suited food reviews oh, it's no yeah. surprise that's that the two top comments on his first video read this guy's character is very consistent time proved it and i love how unique he is his clothing and video style are both extremely distinctive bound by a yeah. humble wholesome personality <laughs> yeah. you could tell me he's 15 years old or 50 years old and for some reason i believe both of them i don't know, I don't know. Yeah, he's, a, he's, a, he's like a he's like a weird like you know what does anybody remember lights camera jackson he gives me Lights Camera Jackson vibes if Lights Camera Jackson wasn't a complete fucking idiot. That's just, like, no offense to Lights Camera Jackson. Shout outs. I, you just, I, I don't, I don't care for you that much, but, um, uh, my philosophy, what I always try to advocate onto others is to treat others shout outs with kindness, you keep doing what you're doing and dignity. That's what I always try to do every single day. And I know I'm not perfect. When he made a classic, I react uh, to your main comments video. Uh, his biggest difficulty was actually finding any video. main comments. I was trying to find some comments that really stuck out to me to include in this video. And I was surprised. It was a lot more of a massive undertaking, should I say, than I expected. After I, I mean, to be fair, Report of the Week, I'm sure people have said this before. He does look like like one of the guys in The Purge, the first movie that, like, or no, the second one that would, like, hire people to be just killed in, like, a, like a, like a Hunger Games style game or something. <laughs> which he'd reinforce his good nature hate isn't anything you know it's not a good thing i always say everyone should treat each other with respect kindness and dignity with his no hatred policy resulting in nobody hating him this is the man i'll show my children when i teach them dignity oh, there is yeah. something about this guy even the rock agrees in humanity again i will physically defend this man for my whole <laughs> life the oh, countless yeah. different review bra memes only add to his charm <laughs> yet they shouldn't distract you from a high level good cold sir wants me why i wear a suit <laughs> <laughs> of personal accountability. And, and this was on me. I should, hey, I should mention that. If 
was just a mistake on my part. Yet if you want accountability with a yeah, bit more yeah. style, then we have to talk about a channel called Discover Connection. At around 600,000 mm, subscribers, Discover Connection is the smallest channel on this list. Smallest. However, these guys have some of the most wholesome content you will ever watch. The channel was created with cool. the goal of reducing divisiveness, with the members essentially leaving their comfort zone in every video just to do nice things for random people. Oh, in their helping strangers that's nice. with anything and everything. Hey, that's like a, that's that that is a nice break from what I've been watching recently, which is just people that rip people off for their video games, pretty much. Like, oh hey grandma, oh you have a a a, 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 a table full of like hundred dollar games each? I'll give you a dollar each. Yeah, you know, these are old, they're not gonna sell well. Fuck you. <laughs> it pisses me off. And yeah, it does make me mad because I would love some of those games for my collection. Um but doing the spiel, if you see a, a game that's like a $30 game or like I said, a hundred dollar game or whatever, and they have like a really lower price, then all right, it's their fault for not researching it, I guess, or buy it. But then you don't, don't do the, yeah, would you sell it for cheaper? <laughs> I hate that. It pisses me off every time. I'm like, fuck you. You're getting a great deal. And you're going to be like, oh uh, yeah, you're going to try to make them feel bad. But like, yeah, this is old. This is old stuff. Uh, would you do like a, you know, like a 20, 22 cents, yeah. Thing video. Actually, I only have two dimes. Can you just do 20? They walked around the streets of Vancouver helping complete strangers with their gardening. While in a different video, what they the managed to convince 30... Dude, look at that hairy ass chest. Oh yeah, shout out to that guy. ...random people at the beach to have a sleepover party at their house. The most viral <laughs> video is an episode where they went around to random houses, offering to cook people dinner in their own homes, with one of the people they cooked for then showing up in a later episode where they hosted a That's massive great. free Christmas dinner for 50 strangers who were all alone on Christmas. The channel is well summarized by... I didn't get a call. Meeting. I'm not crying, you're crying. This is some next level wholesome did. disguise. Thank you for being able to witness this, although until they've experienced the trials of being a bigger challenge, Channel, Casey Neistat definitely deserves the next highest spot. While Casey has found himself in the occasional controversy, don't know who he is, sorry. <laughs> you'd be hard pressed to find a single person who doesn't think he's a legend. Casey is one of the few rare YouTubers who pioneered a whole I, new genre during which I he. I want to say he looks familiar, but. I, I, I don't know. Displayed an he has a unique look, ethic, that's for sure. By uploading a high quality vlog every 24 hours for 800 days straight. Wow, the only holy time shit. I really get bummed out or depressed is when I'm not being productive, is when I'm not accomplishing or doing or contributing in any way. While this might have almost ended his marriage, the destructiveness of that on my own marriage and relationship was mm -hmm. profound. These kind that's of omissions okay. only provide another reason to love him transparency. While most YouTubers show only a polished version of their lives casey's unafraid of highlighting his darkest moments which almost always provides a counterintuitive boost to a youtuber's image on top of this vlogging is simply the perfect video type to build a strong connection with the audience which when combined with his various on-screen collaborations show uh, that he's the type of guy who random ups guy mm, i got ups package yesterday box was like half crushed friends with anyone i don't even want to think about it now i see the ups truck and get fucking I get upset. Casey doesn't put himself on a pedestal <laughs> that, that guy probably has nothing to do with it. I just saw the truck and I got also upset. Hell yeah. Hey, hey, when hey, you hear the name Moist Critical, yeah. two words come. <laughs> I was like, exactly what I was thinking of when I was doing that stupid voice. Is what, all these fuckers. Isn't one of them Joel Haver, too? Consistency and reliability. His streams and almost two daily videos make his social media presence inescapable, but in a good way that'll always leave you updated on all the current drama. In the early days of his channel, Charlie actually donated the entirety of his YouTube earnings to charity, oh, which he continued nice. for over four and a half years before noticing that his donations weren't actually going to those in need. And if you do oh. a little bit of digging, you will find out that many of these highly rated charities are actually just awful. Despite having discontinued so. the practice charlie hasn't stopped giving back to others and oh, while his laid-back nice. attitude makes it seem like the process is pretty damn simple he embodies the saying that it takes a lot of effort to look effortless steve wallace is another smallish yeah. channel on this list at around enough time for moist critical yeah, everybody knows him. That's it. Yeah, that's 1. good. 1.3 right. million subs. Oh. However, I'd be willing to bet that this man has never even had a hate comment during his 12 years on YouTube. Uh, Steve gained popularity by talking... Everybody, welcome. 
All right, there you go. I need him to re redact this video. Please cut it out. Untrue. Cut this part out. Talking about all things camp. I got him covered. I'm not going to say what I wrote. You go go look it up. Being, uh, however, he blew up with his stealth camping videos in which he sleeps in unusual places, like behind a police station, inside a what? small That's train, illegal. and even That's in the fine. bushes of a roundabout. Stealth as camping? described by this idea. comment reading, I think what I like about Steve is that I see the same fears and worries that I would have being out there, and he doesn't hide them. Steve is extremely open and honest on his channel, which would bring him closer to the audience in the most tragic way imaginable. On the 5th of August, two 2022, uh -oh. Steve made a community post celebrating he and his wife's fifth anniversary oh, yeah. before uploading a video exactly three no! weeks later announcing that she Alright, alright, I made it better. She passed away in her oh, sleep. That sucks, On Saturday, so. beautiful wife and I went to bed. On Sunday only, I woke up. For obvious reasons, what this unexplainably difficult event what made the, the videos happened? much harder to make. Not gonna lie, I've been crying a little um, in between shots. Being honest, things have been tough. With the impact also showing up in a YouTube post reading, Hey, sorry to keep letting you down with missing Aww. regular uploads. I may be at the stages of grief when I've got to depression. Some days are okay, some are sleeping all day and hiding from the world. I don't want to burden you with my problems, but I want to let you know what's going on, which was then followed by yet another tragic announcement. Hey everyone, sorry I've been absent. It has been Aww, a tough month and damn. sadly my mum passed away a couple days ago. I will be back of course, but if you want to restore your faith in humanity, you'll have to look at the comment the comments? section. Hell I don't yeah. think I've ever commented on a YouTube video damn. on a 10 plus YouTube account. comments are You're mostly toxic. Steve. Your videos are such a good wholesome so getaway nice. from life stresses and my own demons. Your candid nature and down to earth personality is what everyone needs. I was gutted when I heard about your loss. Being so open about what you're feeling and perseverance to better times is something I strive for. You're an amazing guy, Steve. Keep it up and hunker down. Oh, when life yeah. attacks you, you gotta take life on. No better time for a stealth camp than right now, my friends. With camping, then also sleep playing in the, best the part in the fourth best reputation, Brody from YBS Youngbloods. You might recognize Brody from some of his recent mega viral shorts, yet he's been making long form content for know. over eight years now. What the fuck? His videos usually what are you doing? The coast Get away of from that. Australia, featuring him and his family. He's in Australia? Australia. <laughs> Get out of here. Like beach or ocean related this this is made to kill humans. Some of the most incredible wildlife footage available anywhere. Uh, this has led to a fair few near death experiences. This thing right here can kill 26 humans in a couple of minutes. What are you doing? Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. All right. Should have done that. But for the most part, Brody's content oh, focuses on ocean sustainability <laughs> and not from a fake virtue <laughs> simulation, giant but sack. rather from the perspective of a dude who genuinely cares about keeping the sea clean. Wait, well, awesome. please go see what this actually is. You'll be disgusted, man. Plastic. It's like a balloon. Yeah. Actually, this pisses me off so much. The YouTube mm. videos clickbaiting YBS Youngbloods Exposed have a dislike ratio of over 95% because there's literally nothing to expose. What was the, the comments on these exposed? videos state, Brody is as genuine as a I, I want to know what they tried to expose. Human yeah. being can get. Doesn't ask for much, but to take care of this motherfucker doesn't let me throw my balloons in the goddamn ocean. Of his friends and family, and teaches where am I supposed to put them? And family is I need my balloons. Now, if we're on the topic of good-hearted Australians, then it's hard to go past laser beam. Having 20 million subscribers. How did I never hear these motherfuckers? God damn. Subscribers after only six months on YouTube, it was obvious Whoa. that Lennon was loved from the very beginning. On top of a positive, fun person. Personality, Laserbeam has always valued high quality content over financial gain. I know, I know, uh, uh, Moist Critical does that a lot where he just goes on <laughs> Steam to see what the highest price game is. For the first time back in 2017, what? when he refused to go family friendly, even though his entire channel was being demonetized. I enjoy swearing, it's who I am. I'm not yeah, gonna change. Hell the yeah. I do what makes me happy. That's Fuck the way that. I do YouTube. I That's like swearing I too. Laserbeam was so committed to keeping the content real Love that he moved swearing. back in with his parents. Just so he could keep swearing. Man, the man, the world already sucks. Don't tell me not to enjoy it m more by cursing. Oh, my grandma watches this and now she's tainted. Well, sorry, grandma did the fuck word. That's why your fucking mom's here. That's why you're here. Okay. Committed to keeping the content real. He moved, he moved in, with, in with, his with his parents again, just so, just he, so could he could keep curse. Swearing. I was like, can I li can I live here again, mom? Why? Because I want to say fuck. And she's like, come on. 
my boy. Thinking enough to cover like the basic bills, but I moved back to my parents. While blaming nobody but himself throughout the process. And it's completely fair. It's my mistakes. Shit happens. Like a true legend, stays himself and sticks to his guns in the face of adversity. I don't see what Laser the problem Bunny, is. You are a true bloody legend of all bloody legends. In line with staying true to himself, Laser Beam is also connected with the audience by sharing his own mental health struggles. I have absolutely no shame with like anything I'm going through. I know I've always battled anxiety. I have anxiety about everything. The last few weeks I've been- Is that Fortnite guy in the background? Or is it just a gingerbread guy? <laughs> convincing myself I'm dying. With his extreme transparency likely is, playing I mean. a role in the absence of any negative press despite the size of his channel. Although even then he doesn't come oh, close yeah, to Vsauce. Yeah, here he is, Vsauce. With Vsauce. 20 million subscribers hey guys, Vsauce. almost 15 years on the platform. Yeah, almost, yeah, he's been around. The only crime Vsauce has ever committed is not uploading more often. Even then his content- Well, he does a lot of shorts though, right? 10 years ago is still extremely popular being a testament to his strong image given repute <laughs> no, no controversial things at all what does human taste like let's find out <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, no. and resistance to atrophy almost always go hand in hand Vsauce seems very his, his comfortable his videos in his own are skin as a general... i'm assuming the shorts though that he uploads are just older videos that he just took parts uh, out of maybe i'm not 100 percent sure actually the humble curious i watch a lot of guy Vsauce. who's committed Vsauce. to keeping a clean successful brand steering away from even the most basic controversial questions michael are you a tits or an ass man in the end because we did never get an answer on that <laughs> i ask myself that every day really and do you, do you ever find resolve within your soul on that issue? Yeah. Which is the answer? You're a corn man. Right. Corn man. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting him to lift the corn up. <laughs> I do not love that. At the same time, Vsauce doesn't shy yeah. away from important risk, whether that be trying shorts or putting faith in his curiosity box, which just by the way was purchased yeah. by Mel Science in August 2022 for $12 million. However, Whoa. given its size and footprint, there's one more channel that's maintained its reputation better than any other on the planet platform Ooh. dude perfect with five 60 million subscribers who the fuck are these people i know who Vsauce tons is, but of so. moving parts and close to 60 million subscribers that's dude insane be a i've never heard of dude perfect i don't know these people sorry everybody be like Ooh. i've been on this website for 15 years i don't even need to prove that look on my fucking youtube channel look at <laughs> just go to my youtube channel see the oldest video <laughs> you can see i've been on this fucking website almost daily for 15 years i don't know who these fucking people are criticism however it seems their most controversial moment Never was in 2022 perfect. when all they did was film a video in qatar during the world cup articles on the incident failed to discredit them as they'd accidentally highlight dude perfect's morality in rejecting sponsorship opportunities from alcohol companies on top of this the group is known for being extremely charitable with make-a-wish video Editions, a pledge to sponsor okay. one child for every hundred thousand views they get, and their own Dude Perfect Hope okay. Foundation, which strives to bring hope to people all over the world struggling with illness or lacking life's basics like food and clean water. There were accusations in the early days that their videos weren't authentic, with a Telegraph article from 2009 creating such a heated debate about the channel's legitimacy that Good Morning America hired an expert to investigate. Are they real? Are they fake? How can that be fake? I mean, that that one's not that crazy anyway, dude. I had a, a, a um the the principal in my uh my was it my middle school or was it I think I think it was high school. I don't, I don't remember. He he did one of those uh shots that everybody does in their gymnasium where you bank the you just bounce the ball the basketball off of the wall, and then you try to get into the hoop. Literally, our principal was in there, or maybe it was the vice president. I can't remember. It was it was someone. It was it was somebody. It was somebody like a teacher or a principal. I think I want to say it was the principal. He was just in there. He took the basketball and bounced it off the wall and went right into the hoop. And then he just walked out. I was like, the fuck was that? It's <laughs> Oh, we have computer analysts looking at them. Yeah, video experts say that they're unable to tell where edits have been made. Dude Perfect responded That was definitely an edit. We love it when people say it's fake because it makes the shot seem even more ridiculously impossible. And we get more publicity. They probably did it a bunch of times. Like, it's like one of those, like, those, I, I watch those shorts sometimes that pop up where people are doing these trick shots or whatever. And you can see all the attempts they do. Like, they do quick, like, 
quick montage of all the attempts, and you can tell they're fucking getting sick of it, and then they finally do it, and they go, oh, oh! <laughs> YouTube. So we love the mystery of knowing whether it's real or fake, with frontman Tyler Tony echoing a similar sentiment. Oh, it used to bug all of us when people would oh, say the good. shots are fake, they're not real. We just kind of took it as we a tell compliment them to, go, fuck to fuck how We make sure they never speak again. The things that we were doing actually that's, were. The dude perfect that, members simply... That, was, that one was definitely not crazy. Reinforce a point we brought up earlier. An uncontroversial life. They all look exactly like the same person. <laughs> outside of YouTube creates an uncontroversial White people, am I right? life inside of YouTube. Yeah, that was a good video. You know, hey, a little posy vibes, you know. I like that Sunny V2 won't just st stick to negative, do some posies, you know. Hey, yeah, the, 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 the weight loss one was pretty good, right? I think because it was like, yeah, there you go. That was pretty good because it showed all like, oh, look at them, they're fat. But now they're not. Look at that shit. What? Anyway. Uh, there you go. Who has the best reputation in YouTube history? Oh, we enjoyed it. That was pretty good. I like that. Hey, I, I realized who I, this is the thing. I, I watched this and I'm like, Ooh, all these people I've never heard of. Wow. That sucks uh, that I've never heard of these people, I guess. Cause they look like good people. Maybe I should watch them. I assure you by the next Sunny V2 video, I'll probably forget everybody. <laughs> I've probably heard of these people in past Sunny V2 videos. I'm just like, oh. anyway, that's it. Bye.